Hello, it's Nikki from My Healthy Beginning, and today I'm going to talk to you about simple food substitutions for snacks. So if you're running out of ideas, you're a busy mom, um, you could just be a person on the go, and you find that you're totally busting your budget with picking up like snacky foods or just things on the go. They always say, don't go shopping when you're hungry, right? Because you end up with four times as much in your grocery cart or in your basket or your arms full of a bunch of things you don't need. So I'm gonna give you some great ideas uh, for that today. Um, if you're a candy bar eater, the mini RX bars are fantastic. So like there's a chocolate peanut butter, there's a chocolate sea salt, there's just enough sweet with a lot of protein and their slogan is no BS. So those are a really great um, saving grace. Another would be like energy bites. We have recipes for those on our blog and a favorite tends to be like a nut butter with Enjoy Life chocolate chips, flax seeds, you can get hemp hearts, you can get a bunch of really high density nutrient, excuse me, high nutrient dense foods into protein bars, whether you're making them, you could buy them, you could make them into energy balls, um, whatever works for your um, time frame. And frankly, whatever you think is more fun. If it's something picking up a bar is fun to chew, picking up little bites is easier to pick up and chew, then you decide how you want to prepare those. Um, another brand is the Perfect Bar. So we've recreated our homemade version of the Perfect Bar on our blog, super, super tasty. Um, we could post those links below. You can recreate those. And again, if you want to put them into a ball or cut them into a bar or bite-sized pieces, that is up to you. Um, if you can get out of like the special K and the cereal based bars and into something made from nuts and dried fruit, think like a Laura bar, um, a little bit of honey, um, dates is typically the sweetener in there. You're giving yourself a huge leg up in nutrition and it will actually make a difference. So things like, um, I just think like Nature Valley granola bars that I grew up with, they're just uh, lots of sugar and lots of grains. So if you can even eliminate the sugar and the grains and go with natural, less processed um, ingredients, you're going to feel better. Your gut will thank you for that for sure. Uh, fruit snacks, eat an apple. <laughs> Apples are very easy to take on the go. Um, you know, I'll find an apple like a few days later in my basket or in my bag. It's like, really, I'm glad it's there. Um, for me to grab and eat. If you are up for making your own gelatin gummies or your own little gummy bears or gummy worms, this happens almost on the daily at my house with uh, a teenager, 13 year old, who loves to make these. Um, it's a labor of love. It takes a little time, but delicious, delicious benefits. And again, high nutrient dense foods. Um, if you want to go the veggie route, then you do have to put the time and energy into chopping and having things made available to you in the fridge for easy grab and go. I think that's why people turn toward fruit over vegetable because they can, you know, kind of bite and run. Um, but you could do like a fruit and greens, um, like the dynamic fruit and greens powder. It's a little sweet. And sometimes they think that's what people are reaching for when they want, um, the fruit. So you could get, you know, your veggies in a dinner, um, you could get your veggies in by drinking them in a greens powder and have that great nutritional boost um, for your day. You could make a juice or you could buy a naked juice. So yes, the sugar content is high. There is no added sugar um, and naked juice has been getting a bad rap lately for what are like the chemicals included in the background. So I, I can't speak to that, but um, it's better than a Mountain Dew, right? It's better, it's better than reaching for something um, where you can't read, read the, the ingredients on the ingredient list. Um, one thing that my kids really love too is the Young Living Ningxia Red. So it comes in a big bottle, kind of looks like a wine bottle. They love to mix that with seltzer water and like a lemon or a lime and it's super, super refreshing. But they also love the little packets they come in. So you know those pouches of like the fruit and veggie pouches that kids love. Um, the Ningxia Red comes in pouches. So when we get those pouches, we keep them in the freezer and then all I have to do is either clip off the top and the kids just kind of um, ends up being like a slushy. They really love those or I just cut the top off, put in a bowl, they chop it up like a little, um, you know, like slushy chunks and they'll eat it with a spoon like that. So those are really tasty summertime snack ideas. If you are a trail mix person, um, avoid the planters, you know, or like the, the what do you call them? Like convenience store or gas station um, trail mix and instead make your own um, trail mix cookie jar. So hit up the bulk section of, you know, Trader Joe's or whatever works for you, buy as many organic nuts and seeds as you can with some dried fruit, toss it all in a jar, give it a stir, 
and put in maybe like a quarter um, cup measuring scoop in there, maybe some Enjoy Life chocolate chips or the, the Enjoy Life brand, they have like the chocolate chumps, chunks, the chocolate chips. Um, the Hue Chocolate makes these really delicious chocolate chunks now as well. And then you've got this trail mix cookie jar. So if you put it in a clear jar on your kitchen counter, it looks amazing. Um, and it's not going to completely ruin your dinner. So that's an easy way if you are looking for kind of a granola trail mix based, something easy to scoop and have on the go. Um, smoothies. So if you are running out of time and you love smoothies, you could make a big batch of smoothie, like your whole blender full and, you know, eat off of them for the next couple of days. I don't love doing that. There's just something that goes off in the taste. So I super love a smoothie that's fresh. Now we also have these great silicone. Um, they're called squeezies from Amazon and they're BPA free silicone. And, um, we will make smoothies put them in the freezies and then put them in, the, you know, like just give a little bit of headspace and then put them in the freezer. So the next morning I can pull one out and pop it into my little guy's lunch or we can bring it with if we're going to be like at a picnic or something and it will start to melt, but it'll stay cold because inevitably it's not just going to, you know, melt into nothing. So that's an easy way to have like a smoothie or like a peanut butter chocolate shake style thing that you've made with a protein powder to um, get that through your day. One of the things I've discovered about buying smoothies on the go, even, um, you know, kind of name brand restaurants, if you will, we have one here locally, that's an organic restaurant. <clears throat> and when we went and we ordered a smoothie, something told me to ask about the ingredients. And they were like, well, I'm not really sure. It's just like a fruit mix in a pouch. Um, and so when they brought it out to me, there was just junk in it. And I was super surprised to find that a restaurant like that wasn't just making a fresh smoothie or making it from at least like a frozen fruit um, like frozen fruit in a bag. It was something pourable from uh, an aseptic container. So um, smoothies are great because you can add your sweetener of choice if you even need a sweetener. We often find that it doesn't need anything if you've got a little bit of frozen banana in there. Makes it creamy, makes it thick, makes it sweet, and makes it super delicious. Um, nut butters are great to add in there. Some people really like adding yogurts. Um, coconut butter is a delicious add-in for those healthy fats. So kind of depends on what your taste is and what you are, um, who you're feeding, right? My kids, the littlest tends to go, oh my gosh, it's green. I don't want it. Even though it's two handfuls of spinach, which don't taste like anything and a bunch of say pineapple, banana, and mango. It's a super sweet smoothie, super delicious, but he sees green and wants to run the other way. Um, so kind of know your people when you're making snacks um, for smoothies. So when you are looking for an ice cream, the easiest way to go is what we call this nice cream. So you can take frozen bananas um, out of the freezer, like if you slice them in coins and freeze them on a single layer on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. Um, once they're frozen, take them out and dump them into a gallon size of black bag where you can grab what you need when you need it. Otherwise, if you put these slices into one bag and put, you're gonna have a clump of concrete you know, I know this from experience and you won't be able to get it apart and it's, you end up tossing it. So um, if you take the frozen banana coins and you throw that into your food processor with maybe a scoop of nut butter or not, um, maybe just a drizzle of full fat coconut milk, maybe a drizzle of a thinner like almond milk, um, process that. And then it's literally like soft serve. It's super sweet. It's super delicious. And you could put dark chocolate shavings. You could sprinkle nuts or seeds. You could sprinkle, um, you know, like fruits of any kind, super, super delicious. So I hope this gave you some answers and ideas for simple food substitutions in the world of snacks. If you are struggling with your health, struggling with what foods are good for you, um, we can get you that optimal health. You can reach us at myhealthybeginning.com or give us a call at 612-418-3801.